Nancy Cordes. She's hosting CBS's Face the Nation this Sunday morning. Nancy, great to see you. So put this in some, some larger context about the president allegedly offering to fire Mueller, his lawyer, talking him out of it. Where is the discussion on that today? Well, there have always been a number of members of Congress on the left and right who were worried that the president would try to do just that, to fire uh, Robert Mueller after he fired James Comey, the FBI director. And they've always warned him that that would be a red line for Congress. And even Republican leaders have said, don't do it. Uh, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina has said there would be holy hell to pay uh, if the president were to try to fire the independent special counsel without cause. And the White House has always insisted uh, that he doesn't want to do it, that he hasn't thought about it, that there haven't been discussions about it in the White House. Well, now the New York Times and other news outlets have all confirmed that actually there was a very serious conversation that took place about doing just that. And that, uh, as you pointed out, Adam, the only reason it didn't happen was because uh, White House counsel Don McGahn told the president in no uncertain terms that he would quit rather than having to do it, and that he told the president, you don't want to do this either because it's going to be harmful to your presidency. So is there a subsequent reaction to the president calling the story fake news? Because I think we've seen a pattern where if it's a story simply that the president doesn't like, he just attaches that label on it. Sure. And, you know, we had heard for months rumors uh, of exactly this, that he, he was interested in uh, firing the special counsel. And obviously he has fumed about him publicly more than once. So it didn't surprise uh, anyone on Capitol Hill, and they are reiterating their warnings to him not to try to tamper with that investigation. And there's even talk of legislation to protect the special counsel, uh, to keep him from losing his job unless he's actually done something seriously wrong. And as of right now, there isn't any indication of that. So, Nancy, real quick for Face the Nation on Sunday, just some quick bullet points, things that you'll be hitting. Well, we'll be talking to Senator Susan Collins and Senator Bernie Sanders about uh, that new Mueller issue and about immigration. Uh, Senator Tammy Duckworth, you may have heard her good news this week. She is going to be the first senator to give birth while in office. Uh, we'll also hear from Mark Short, who's the legislative director at the White House. Uh, we'll find out what he has to say uh, about the president's new pronouncements about Robert Mueller. Well, Nancy, it'll be great to see you there on Face the Nation, WSA 9, Sunday morning at 1030. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me, Adam.